I call David Seymour, five minutes. Mr Speaker, I uh, rise on behalf of the ACT Party in favour and support of this bill. Uh, even though I regard it as a regrettable piece of public policy, and as I've said in earlier stages, uh, that is because of the wider context of the need to support this budget um, and keep those people over there and these people over here, except for Phil Goff, who will soon be joining us in Auckland on a more permanent basis. Uh, Mr Speaker, I just have a question for the Minister and for the proponents of this bill, uh, and it's this. What do they say to the 15% of New Zealanders and the 35.5% of Māori who will now pay $2,800 in tobacco excise tax every single year, and under this bill will soon pay $3,800 of excise tax every year because they smoke. Uh, and I presume what the Minister and his supporters would say is, well, they should quit. And there's one small problem with that, Mr Speaker, is that they have not. Uh, and that the regulatory impact statement for this bill vastly overestimates how many people will quit for the amount of tax taken from the poorest households in this country. And I saw one such example of this not so long ago in a countdown uh, in Auckland. And I saw a mother with a very young girl and the mother was buying a packet of, or a tin of milk and a packet of Winfield 25s, three quarters of the cost of which was tax. And I can't presume to know all of their circumstances, but by the look of it, from the way they were dressed, from the expression on their faces, the little girl was fixated on those cigarettes as if to say that could have been dinner. A seven-year-old girl, Mr Speaker, could work out what this policy is doing. It's having minimal effect on smoking cessation, but it is literally taking food out of the mouths of some of the poorest children in this country. And I'd say to my colleague from the Māori Party that Dame Tatiana Turia is a woman deserving of the greatest of respect, and the intentions are extremely noble. Uh, but policies must not be measured by intentions. Uh, they must be measured by outcomes. And this policy, Mr Speaker, uh, will take tobacco tax on the average smoker from 2800 bucks per year up to 3800 bucks, And that is not an enlightened policy. It is a highly regressive tax. And the costs imposed in terms of poverty and deprivation on the people most in need far outweigh any possible benefits that we've been able to observe from the first five years of this policy. And so with that, Mr Speaker, I support this bill because it's part of a broader budget that I think is good. But make no mistake, it is a highly regrettable policy. It will do far more harm than it does good. Uh, and so we have to support it in spite uh, of the fact that it is not good policy whatsoever. Speaker.